निर्विशेषाय सूर्यवादी पाशाद देश जय श्री कृष्णा चैतन्य प्रभो नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गाधर शिवासि गौर भक्त वृंद हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगत पते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमस्ते ताप्त कांचन गौरंगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी ऋषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय ताप्त कांचन गौरंगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी ऋषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गाधर शिवासति गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नाउ टुडे इज द अपीयरेंस डे ऑफ राधा रानी राधा रानी इज द टॉप मोस्ट कंसर्ट ऑफ कृष्ण करेक्ट यू सी एनी टेंपल ऑफ कृष्ण साउथ इंडिया में तो कम देखते हैं नॉर्थ इंडिया में कभी भी देखें टेंपल ऑलवेज राधा कृष्ण कभी कृष्ण ये तो ओ टी में ऐसा नहीं होता कभी इतना राधा कृष्ण अकेले कृष्ण के मुद्दे कभी नहीं बना देखा कि ऑलवेज इनमें राधा कृष्ण और रुक्मिणी कृष्ण लाइक दैट इज अ ट्रेडिशन एंड दैट्स करेक्ट आल्सो कृष्ण इज नेवर अलो मधुचार्य डिड नॉट गिव द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ राधा रानी बिकॉज ही हैड अ पर्पस यू नो ही हैड कम ड्यूरिंग द टाइम दैट पीपल वर लॉस्ट into thinking that we are soul but that's everything they have no understanding of god that is called advaita tattva abhi tak wo khali nahi hua shankaracharya had done a great contribution and saved the sanadan dharma actually by bringing back yesterday i was explaining he had bringing back the uh, vedas in the society after buddha had wiped it out correct buddha had said in the city i don't want your vedas So Shankaracharya brought it back, and when he brought it back, he uh, gave only tippany on some, I think, nine books or so, and the rest of the books he did not touch because you know you cannot bring back everything at one time. Uh, he talked about the dynamics of the soul, that's so. all. But dynamics of the super soul and the Lord was too much to give at one time, so he didn't talk about that. So there is uh, he had left it at that instance, but his followers. Uh, even though Shankaracharya, uh, towards the end of his life, gave beautiful glories of the Lord, uh, one of the comes in the composition of his prayers. Prabhupada says he was a hidden devotee of the Lord because he had come for that purpose. His job was, you know, just like uh, in management, when a boss goes somewhere, he's given a brief, short brief, he's given, and he's go and he has to execute the job. Can I? Short brief is given. So similarly, Lord Shiva was also given a brief by the Lord. This is your mission, and he came and did his mission. That's it. But at towards the end, he could not bore himself because he is a great devotee, and he wrote beautiful prayers and glorification of the Lord. Lord, not only one, and which is one of them is the well known is what? Bhaj Govinda, Bhaj Govinda, Bhaj Govinda. Mood mate, samprate, sahi na te, sahi na te kahale, nahi nahi rakshite. दुष्कृतरणाचार्य What about other books? There are so many other books. Vedic literature doesn't mean this. We have two, three Upanishads and one Gita commentary that he has written, and one commentary in Vedanta is written. There are so many other literatures. Write and give us that. Number one, number one. Even there are some. He has to do his mission. Twisted some things also. They started correcting that. So that was the work of. Just like sometimes some people say there is a clash, there is a contradiction. There is no contradiction. Just like in nursery, the root of minus one, say, I can see it. Anybody taught root of minus one in nursery? What will happen to the child if you try to teach? 
poor fellow will not come to school from next day. Okay? He will run away. <laughs> so similarly, Buddha had a certain time to teach something. Shankaracharya had a certain time to teach something. Madhucharya had a certain time to teach something. Seemingly it looks contradictory. It's not contradictory. If you know the essence, what they're trying to do. So when Madhucharya came, he had to uh, work again. Therefore, his very symbol is like this. You see? His well, you see picture of Madhucharya. Two. Two. And Shankaracharya is holding a danda, single. It's one. Final truth is one. Madhvacharya says two. Jiva and Ishara. It cannot be one. It is two. But when he was emphasizing on that, that is called Dvaita Dvaita Tattva. Shankaracharya, what, what he gave is called Kevala Advaita Tattva. But what Madhvacharya gave was two. Dvaita Dvaita. Two, two, not one. You and God cannot be same. It is two, different. But Shankaracharya, what he gave was basic. You are not body or spirit, Brahma Satya. And even below that is Madhva. Most of the, sorry, below that the Tattva given to Shankaracharya is Buddhism. And most of the people around the world today are akin to Buddhism because mostly they are atheists. And if you talk to anybody, what's the philosophy of life? As my philosophy of life, if he is a gentleman, otherwise he is an animal. You know, they will have all sinful activities lined up, planned up. But at least, even though they have lined and planned up, they don't talk about that. They talk like a gentleman. Yes, my philosophy of life is I should be good, I should not hurt another person. That is Buddhism. That is Buddhism. That's all it is. Ahimsa, Paramo, Dharma. Don't hurt another person, including animals. That is Buddhism. It stops it. Shankaracharya Tattva is a little more. It talks about the soul, but and then he left there, but his followers became very dangerous because they said, This is everything. There is nothing more. So then <laughs> Acharya had to come, Madhvacharya came, Madhvacharya is also not ordinary. All these are like high power team of the Lord. You know? Shankaracharya is Lord Shiva, the topmost devotee of the Lord. Buddha is another incarnation of God itself. In the Dashavatara, Buddha is listed. Correct? And then now Madhvacharya has come, who is Amsha, so many great personalities. The, also another empowered personality who has come. And he said, so he focused on that knowledge. At that time, he now starts talking about the internal pastime of Lord Krishna and Vrindavana. Too late. Too much. He gave some. Nursery is a KG Mahagi, KG is a first class Mahagi, as a chapter. So uh, then uh, Lord Chaitanya, uh, his contribution was there are four Vaishnava Acharya. There is Madhva Acharya, he comes with a line now. Just like if you want to learn engineering, you have to learn NIT, you have to learn IT, you have to learn IIT, you have to learn IIT. But in college, you have to learn admission. You have to choose the college which you want. Correct? So if you want to learn Vaishnava Tathwa, there are four Sampradayas. You cannot sit and imagine. If you imagine, suppose engineering is not done, you have to imagine. Yes, there will be such a car, it will be such a car. So you have to give a job. You will not learn anything. You will reinvent the wheel and rather in medical science it is possible. Steve Jobs was a dropout uh, and even this fellow was a dropout. Uh, even the Microsoft fellow, he was also a dropout. Bill Gates, uh, Bill Gates is also a dropout. That's a different issue. But what I am telling is that in spiritual line, these exceptions are not there. Because in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, that Vidhi Pranipati. It's not that Krishna is limited. If you want, you can bypass that. But generally, that's not the rule. That the Vidhi Pranipatena Pariprashnena Sevaya Upadakshanti Tegyana Gyanina Tattu Darshana. Just like a case of Miravai. Looks like a more of a case of a bypass. Because she got some mercy. Sometimes Prabhupada also says she was a great devotee of the Lord. But she didn't have any guru, prophet, nothing. So some rare case of bypass. Krishna can bypass. Sometimes people ask, Prabhupada and Vrindavan, people are running around going from one temple to, you know, they daily go for darshan and all. Prabhupada used to always appreciate that. So somebody asked, well, who is a guru? Krishna is a guru. <laughs> but if they are not properly, if you look at them, most of the people in Vrindavan, anybody has gone to Vrindavan? Nobody has gone. Yeah. Vrindavan, if you go, you will see, you know, thousands of people going for darshan on the temples and all. And they are so, so devoted. But if you see properly, technically, they are not so well initiated or you no know, systems actually. 
the part for somebody asked Prabhupada, then they're spiritually so serious. Who is their guru? Krishna is their guru. So yes, sometimes Krishna can bypass. It's not that Krishna is limited. You cannot limit Krishna any way. You cannot say, Krishna, only this way you can do. Why? Who are you to stop me? Just like some people say in other religions, because there is no mention of any incarnations of God. There is no mention. If you want to know about God, God is great to all the religions say. And if, how is he great means he has to come and show na. Krishna showed, he lifted a mountain with his finger. Lord Rama made a bridge over the ocean with stones. He said, now they will float. They started floating just by his wish. Now this is your way of breaking the laws of gravitation. Both of them, Krishna may be lifting a mountain by his finger. What happened to the law of gravitation? Cancelled. Lord Rama also, they were throwing big, big stones. What happened? They were floating. What happened to the law of gravitation? Cancelled. So he can do anything he wants. Krishna can break any rule he wants. You cannot limit Krishna in any way. So people say, hey, if you ask them, then uh, God is great, then agree. But why doesn't he come to this world? No, no, he cannot come to this world. The problem objected to this. How can you stop God from doing anything? Who are you to stop him? If he wants, he will come. Who are you to say you cannot come? If he wishes, he will come. Okay, so the God's activity is not brought by Madhuracharya, but then the four Vaishnava Acharyas came. So if you want to learn about Krishna now, you have to join one of the four colleges. Either college started by Brahma, in which Madhvacharya comes, or the college started by Lakshmi, in which Ramanandacharya is the chief Acharya. Just like in a college, there will be one student, there is a best student. He becomes like, and they will put his name also, he is distinction. So Madhvacharya is like a distinction person in this parampara, a very important person in this personality in this parampara. And Ramana Chaya comes in the college started by Lakshmi. Lakshmi is always at the lotus feet of the Lord. Correct? So she also has a privilege to start a college to know about Krishna. Mother Brahma has a privilege, the first son of Krishna in this world. Correct? He has no material father, he is a direct son of the Lord, Karbhudakshay Vishnu. And then Lord Shiva, he is a very great personality. He is not God. He is another great devotee of the Lord. Some misunderstanding is there. He is almost Vishnu, he is not Vishnu, <laughs> almost. <laughs> like milk turns into curd, eh? and milk is curd at the same time not curd. That's how Brahma Samhita explains, a very great personality. Now Vaishnava Nam Yatha Shambhu, he is the topmost Vaishnava. Among the Vaishnavas, topmost Vaishnava is Shambhu Lord Shiva. So he also got a license to start a college, just like you know, they get a license to start. So he also started a college that is called Rudra Sampradaya, in which Vishnu Swami was a great Acharya. Uh, who got distinction. And then another college was started by uh, four sons of Brahma called Kumaras. They are also privileged people because they were the first Brahmacharis in this universe. First Brahmacharis. They are sons of Brahma. And you know, after the creation, Brahma has to populate the whole universe because so many souls want to be born in this world. They don't want to dance with Krishna. So they want to be here. So yes, he starts on more college. Four sons of Brahma, so Kumaras. These are the four Sampradayas. Now, in January, the Kumbh Mela is there in, in uh, Varanasi. Alava, if you go there, you will see tents of all the four Sampradayas. Here in South India, we see these two Sampradayas very visible. Uh, one Sampradaya is visible as the Madhva Sampradaya, other one visible as the Shri Sampradaya. We come in the Madhva Sampradaya, a branch of Madhva Chaya, which finally went to Bengal. Therefore, it is called Madhva Gaudiya. Correct? Now big big companies come to your college, they want to give recruitment. Why they are not going on the street now? Why do they go to college? They know some training is there. So similarly actually, in spiritual life particularly, training is very much important. Uh, and so this, uh, so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu what he did was, these four Sampradayas, the four colleges, he took the gist of each one of them, rather two points of each one of them, and combine them, even though it's a Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya, it has teachings of other three Sampradayas also. This worship of Radha Krishna is not in Madhva Sampradaya, it comes from Vishnu Sant Sampradaya, or if I am correct, yes. It doesn't come from this line of Brahma Madhva Sampradaya. In fact, what he did, he took two, two elements of each Sampradaya and he brought it together. And the tattva he called it Achinda Bheda Abheda Tattva. It's 
very advanced. And the tattva given by Madhva Charya is called Dvaita Dvaita. Tattva, tattva given by Ramanuja Charya is called Vishisht Advaita. Uh, so like that, all the four Vaishnava Acharyas gave a tattva. What is this tattva? See, Vedavyasa, what he did, he was a very clever person. All the Vedic knowledge is summarized into 550 change sutras. Some people say 553, some people say 555. Sutra. Sutra means a summary. Just like we physics part there. Exam and no purchi mana kriyata, amlo kriyata. So, what is the formula? If you have a formula, you can solve it. Correct? If you have a formula, you can solve it. You can solve it. So, similarly, Vedic has a modern date. All the Vedic philosophy that he wrote, he summarized in sutras, which are 550 change. There are one or two sutras. Ka. Addition is there, some people say 553, some people say 555, but more or less they are fixed. Okay? Now these sutra, he said, if anybody says he wants to look because whole Vedic knowledge, see Vedic knowledge was existing even before Vedavyasa. It was not put into writing. Now everything has been put into writing and compiled, organized everything. Okay, and he is an empowered representative. Now Vedavyasa, if you reject, Vedic custom is cancelled because he is an authority. Just like Balmiki the Likhi Ramayana. If you remove Balmiki Ramayana, is over. He is an authority for Ramayana. But if you leave Ramayana, the rest of the Vedic books are written by Vedavyasa. If you delete him, it's all over. So he is a very important authority. In fact, in the, he is one of the incarnations of the Lord. So he said, if somebody wants to represent me, or in that sense, wants to represent the Vedic culture. He has to show he does not contradict any one of the sutras, which are 550 change. Take okay? 555. Many acharyas are 555, some are 553. But doesn't make those one or two sutras any difference. Done. Now, all the acharyas, when they gave their philosophy, they have to satisfy sutra. So they have to write something called a bhashya, which is called, it's like polymeric salikarada, vision, mission. So similarly, they have to also satisfy the sutras and show that their vision, mission does not contradict the Vedanta sutras. That is called bhashya. You're not getting late. What do you call it? You take prashadana. Other people are comfortable, no? So I can explain properly today. So now what happened that Vedavyasa wrote that, uh, he himself wrote a commentary on the sutras, his explanation called Srimad Bhagavata, which we study very elaborately. So the highest work by Vedavyasa, he himself gave an explanation of his philosophy, which is called Srimad Bhagavata, which is also called the last Purana written by Vedavyasa. Okay, which is considered the topmost book by Vedas. So when uh, Shankaracharya wanted to explain his essay, before that Vishnu Swami had explained, he wrote his own bhashya on the Vedanta Sutra. Otherwise, you cannot even open your mouth. Because anybody says, I have some Vedic philosophy tell you, tell sir, which bhashya you are following. Otherwise, we don't know what he is speaking. Because we don't know if it's Vedic or not, maybe his own philosophy. Just like you see Bhagavad Gita, if you go to the market, thousand editions are available. How many? Thousand. Thousands of people are not in the library, body library, national library, thousands of people are not in And how do you know which one is correct? So you have to know who is following the Bhashya, otherwise keep it aside. If you look at our Bhagavad Gita, proper rights in the beginning, all glories to this book is dedicated to Baladev Vidya Bhusha, who so nicely wrote Govinda Bhashya commentary on the Vedanta Sutra. He writes that. Why does he write? He knows this is the rule, sir. He has written that. That means my book is following that. Not only that, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, he said, My book, is, what I am teaching, is following Bhagavata which is the first commentary on the Vedanta Sutra. So, there was written one work by Shankaracharya also, which is called Advaita Bhashya. What is the name of that? Sharirika Bhashya. But when writing Sharirika Bhashya, because he was not, didn't want to focus on the glorification of the Lord, he was just wanted to focus on the soul, he had a trouble because so many sutras are now going about 
the glorification of the Lord. So what did he have to do? He started rearranging the verses. Because Vedanta Sutra is logic. Nyaya Shastra. It is kept under the scripture of Nyaya Shastra. There are different kinds of literature and there are Smithi Shastra, Shruti. This Vedanta Sutra comes in the Nyaya Shastra, logic. Sambandha, Abhideya, Parajana. Foundation, relationship, the process of verification and realization. It's pure logic. So now what did he start doing? He started rearranging them. Because otherwise he could not do his work. So other Acharya, that is easy job to do. What is this? What is this? How can he rearrange? The way the vessel authority is lost if he does all this. And, but he had to do it at this time. So later it was a very easy job. But people are faith in the scripture. Oh, what is this? Oh, really? He touched that. Huh? He started rearranging. He said, uh, the Shankaracharya said, looks like some mistake made by the way. And he started rearranging to do this job. So an easy job it was for the Acharya time. But that time his work was needed and he did it. Buddhism, Shankaracharya wiped out all of it. He wiped it out. There is no Buddhist in India. Dalai Lama and all have come later. Correct? And we don't even recognize them as the true followers of Buddhism because they eat meat. We have all respects for them, but they are not Pakka followers because they eat meat. And that is the first principle of Buddhism. Ahimsa, Paramo. We have respects for them, but this is a mistake. It cannot be done. This is the fundamental teaching of Buddhism was non violence so anyway, so now this is the work of Shankaracharya and he had done it, but Vaishnavacharya started building on that. And then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came. So Madhvacharya, for that reason, has not talked about Radharani because he had a focus to tell Vishnu Sukhi. Jiva is Anu, Vishnu is Vibhu too. Don't mix them together. This is his contribution and it's a great contribution he has done. And anyway, so now Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, when he was establishing, when he was teaching about Radharani and other pastimes, in fact, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is a very unique personality. I am telling you very, very confidential things today. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna himself, hidden as a devotee. Radha, Krishna, Pranaya, Vikriti, Radhini, Shakti, Asmara. He is talking about how Actually, Krishna's Radhini Shakti, pleasure potency is Radha. Hmm. To understand Krishna is not easy. Manusha nam sahasreshu kashyati yadati siddhe. In Bhagavad Gita, I said, among thousands of people, somebody can, can become a perfect man. Yatatam api siddhanam kashyati vetvam veti tattva. Among so many perfected men, somebody can understand Krishna. So Krishna is our understanding is not easy. And forget about understanding Krishna, knowing about the intimate pastimes, his personal life is beyond easy. Yeah? It's very, very confidential. But Chaitanya Mahap and Radharani is so great actually, so great to go to the Lord, that sometimes Krishna becomes mesmerized. How she is so devoted. Because she excels all the devotees in the world. Now this we will discuss later today, uh, probably in the evening, about her love for Krishna. See, practically goes mad and love for Krishna. And our life, a goal of our life is to become, Prabhupada used to say, Jai Radha Madhav Kunjabiyari Gopi Janavada Our goal of our life to join in the pastime of Radha Krishna and she is a topmost devotee. There is nobody as Krishna conscious as Radharani. Prabhupada said, no, International Society for Krishna Consciousness. That is the moment. And what is Krishna Consciousness? Krishna Consciousness means in serving Krishna there is some pleasure. To come to that platform of consciousness is called Krishna Consciousness. Today people's platform of consciousness is like animals. Only pleasure they know is like cats and dogs what they do in the street. Eat, sleep, mate, what we discussed in the class. Okay? They don't know anything more than that. Therefore, the present human civilization is polished animal civilization. What a decorated method. Just like management calling them type and get that thing. What a decorated. But activities are the same eating, sleeping, waiting, defending. Nothing more. 
You ask them anything, what they want to achieve in life. I want to have a very good salary. What do you do with a very good salary? I live so nicely. I sleep so nice. That animal is anyway doing without going to college. He is more intelligent, correct? He is eating very nicely. He is sleeping very nicely. He is mating very nicely. If the end of life is I enjoyed very nicely. He said, I also enjoyed it because without wearing tie, I enjoyed it. <laughs> I enjoyed fantastically more than you I enjoyed these four things. So human life is actually not meant for these pleasures. Human life is meant to taste Krishna consciousness. And the Krishna consciousness is actually a translation of Sanskrit word. Uh, what is the Sanskrit word? Which is translated? Krishna Bhavana Amrita Sindhu. Krishna Bhavana means the feelings. Correct? Prabhupada used to say in the temple, if you don't have a feeling to serve Krishna, ah, these temples will not temple. It will go down. Not even go down, place for pigeons to sit. Like a mandir was there, a kabutar bhutte was. Or a almini and a bar putte putte vajra. Right? Because bhavana chale gai, Krishna ki seva ki seva ki. And bhavana is there, you can infect other people also. They will also come. Yes, I want to serve Krishna. Bhavana should be there. If the bhava is not there, then what is the use? So this bhava to serve Krishna, Krishna bhavana amrita, it's a nectar. Bhava hai, dunya mein bhi hai, but do putte bhulli bhi karte hai. Kya special ho usme? Ye special hai, human life mein hi taste ho sakta hai, putte bhulli nahi taste kar sakta hai usko. If I call dogs here and tell about Radha Rani past time, what a dog will understand? He will understand anything. He will simply sit back, work, work. He has no capacity to understand. In human life, we have an opportunity to advance in consciousness. And the highest platform of consciousness is Krishna consciousness, where person experiences love of Krishna. Okay? Just like Hanuman fought for Lord Rama. In return, what did Lord Rama give? Nothing. What did he give him? Krishna consciousness. The pleasure. Why he was fighting? He didn't want anything. Pleasure. I want to make Lord Rama so happy. Yeah. In the middle world, people want to make somebody happy. Prabhupada said that people are either directly selfish or extended selfish. Direct selfishness. I want to become rich and famous. That is direct selfishness. And sometimes it is actually extended selfish. Not me, my relatives, my friends. They should become. Sometimes they are a little more my countrymen. They should become rich and comfortable. And this they say, I'm very you. This is nothing great. Uh, the greatest thing is uh, pleasure of the Lord. Why? Because it includes everything. Not only humanity, but what about animals? And why don't we all embrace animals you want to kill? Huh? Only humanity should be my only my countrymen. And, and others should go to hell. This is crippled idea. Cripple-minded personality. Agree or not? This is cripple-minded, no? Only my country will be good. The rest will be gone. That's what the world is fighting for. Because everybody is cripple-minded today. My community, my caste, my family, cripple-minded. Prabhupada says, unless you become Krishna conscious, you cannot be a gentleman. Otherwise, you are always narrow-minded. So our, that is like people say, my own child. Why are you not child? My other child is not good, a neighbor's child should go to hell. Or we should think good about everybody. So you cannot be complete in wishing well unless you come to Krishna consciousness. Why? Because through Krishna, you should do anything. Don't do anything independent of Krishna. Why? Everybody is a child of Krishna. If you develop love for Krishna, then you love everybody. Why is it so? Because everybody is Krishna's child. Correct? It's like, hey, give an example. If I have to satisfy you, it is not easy actually. I have to then hang a gift to your car, then I have to gift you nice clothes, then I have to give you a nice apartment, so many things. Then maybe after that, I have to spend crores of rupees to satisfy any individual. Okay? Any individual ought to satisfy a lot of things he wants. At least that's a white chain of school, youngsters. Then he will say, Yes, sir, I am fully satisfied. To support our body. Easy thing that. Look, if he has something who is very attached to. So just like nowadays people are very attached to dog. We were just analyzing why they are attached to dog. Because people have become less than dog. 
In America, they say dog is the best friend. Why? Because the dog, when the master comes home, stands at the golden gate and he wags his tail. You have seen? If you have pet dog. And he runs around you and wants to climb your chest. Correct? And a wife is it? And Prabhupada says the relationship is very congenial in the same species. In the same species, you can talk, no, relation is very congenial. It is not so congenial with the other species. But humanity, which should be higher than dog, has become worse than dog. He is feeding his own family, also children also. They have no gratitude. <laughs> they fight with him. But dog is not fighting with him. He may fight, he may bark at the whole world. But when the master comes, he is so dedicated. Therefore, they call Nowadays in the West, dog is the best friend. India may be hoga bhi, hone wala hai, dheere dheere ja raha hai niche. Yaan bhi hoga hai, dog will remain the best friend. It is a joke actually. Best friend means, they don't refer to anybody, it refers to dog. So, this is what the society is degraded to, degenerated to actually. But Krishna Mahama Rasamita Sindhu is the highest human consciousness to elevate to that. And the top most Krishna conscious personality is Radha Gandhi. Nobody can parallel her devotion to Krishna. When Krishna, uh, the desire to see Krishna, desire to serve Krishna, uh, we cannot even imagine. So Krishna himself sometimes gets astounded. My God, she is so devoted. If I can know, what is she thinking? That is Chaitanya. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna taking the role of Radharani. It's a very unique incarnation of the Lord. Therefore, he comes in golden color. That's the color of Radharani. Krishna's color is black. Correct? Shama. It is not black like the dull black of this world, but it is bluish, just like the color of the cloud. Frame filled cloud. Sabhi Varane. Vatana Samla Samla cloud, Vatana Pani Bharata is Bhairish Kita. एक आधा समय तो लोगों से कुछ नहीं पानी नहीं होता है ना भी होता है वो क्या सावला बारिश के टाइम में क्या हो लाइक टाइम एंड इट इस सो ब्यूटीफुल ना वी हैव नॉट सीन प्रॉपर दर सीन ही सेज इट इस सो ब्यूटीफुल दैट इट इस बेटर देन डल वाइट ऑफ़ दिस वर्ल्ड इन दिस वर्ल्ड वाइट इस कंस्ट्रक्ट बेस्ट � Everyone, married or not married, doesn't matter. They wanted Krishna as a husband. Some of them were already married, still they wanted Krishna as a husband. And similarly, we were discussing many times when Krishna went to Mathura, so they came to know Krishna is very beautiful. So the, all the girls climbed uh, their houses to see Krishna on the top because there was no mixing of sexes in the Vedic culture. Men and women will be separated. So they all climbed the top of the house. Men were in the road. They were doing Aarti. Just like Mandir Maharti was here. When the Lord came, they were doing Aarti for the Lord. And the, if you have seen the picture where Krishna went to Mathura, all the Brahmanas brought their Aarti. Hare Ghar Mandir Ma Puja Karte, the Bhagavan to Bahar Aage, not road man. Aarti plates are road man. Bhagavan ki Aarti chalke ho da. Jab se jodhi na Rathya Adhra hodhi, log apne sab saman leke bahari Bhagavan ki Aarti karte hain. Bhog laga. So they were doing Aarti for the Lord. And the girls climbed the top of the roof and they were looking at Krishna. And they saw Krishna, they painted. Krishna is so beautiful. So beautiful. In fact, that is the beauty of Krishna. Uh, so, same Krishna, uh, he wants to taste the love of Radharani. He comes in a mood of Radharani. That is Lord Chaitanya. That is a confidential reason. Uh, it's a very, very confidential incarnation. Lord Chaitanya So anyway, so Radharani is the topmost devotee uh, and there are so many discussions about Radharani in the scriptures. It's for inspiring us, just like we read that. Radhe Jal Jal Mahadabha Daite. You are worshipped by all the young girls of Gokula. She is called the Queen of Vrindavana. Because Vrindavana, everybody wants to serve Krishna and she is a super excellent. In fact, Krishna doesn't want to enjoy anything without Radharani. But somebody may feel, Arya, just a humble lady, ke pije bhaagta hai, Krishna is also running. Two things in this. Number one is that 
to understand Krishna. We have seen great sages, they leave everything in this world. They go to the forest to meditate on Krishna. Big, big kings used to leave their kingdom and go to the forest to realize Krishna. Raja Because they want to see Krishna. So went to bed. And these people were free from attachment to the material world. So to understand Krishna itself means those people who meditate on Krishna, then they become free from attraction to the material world. How can Krishna be attracted to the material world? Krishna has nothing to do, sir, first. They will give an order to the engineer, he will not hold it. They will sit in the office. Krishna has nothing to do. He has nothing to do. You see, somebody is holding a Buddha temple, somebody is holding a chopper, somebody is holding a gada, somebody is holding something. Krishna is not holding anything, he is holding a flute. Flute means कुछ नहीं करना बस मते ले रहे हैं बस कुछ काम नहीं है मतलब ये करना है ऑफिस जाना है ये करना है कुछ नहीं even बेबल it doesn't work sometimes Krishna killed he didn't kill he killed Shushupat and so many people in the he killed actually he never killed Krishna expands to Balaram Balaram expands to Sankarshna Sankarshna expands to Karadhuna Karadhuna expands to Anirudha Anirudha expands to Vasudeva Vasudeva did not Krishna. Krishna gave expansion. Wo Pankata Sudarshan Chakra. Krishna doesn't do. Krishna only holds a flute. But you cannot see that. Just like, you know, sometimes what happens, so you will go. You are enjoying now talking about Radha Rani last time. We are enjoying something else. Now, so Krishna doesn't get into anything. He only plays with Radha Rani, he plays with the Gopas, he plays with Mother Yashoda, and he plays with his friends. That's full stop. He doesn't do anything else. Krishna does not take one step out of Vrindavan. What is the shloka? Nahi Pada Gachanti, there is a shloka. One step into the trick. He's always with his devotees playing an ecstatic love. Okay? So Krishna does not enjoy anything. Maitreya. When meditating on Krishna, we become free by the chanting Krishna name because we want to become relieved from material senses. Correct? And when by chanting Krishna name, meditating on Krishna, we relieve, get, get relief from material senses. Why Krishna will enjoy material things? Krishna doesn't enjoy this illusion of this world. Huh? Krishna, when he wants to enjoy, his own potency comes out. Just like there are two potencies of Krishna, external and internal. External potency is this Devi Maya, this mental energy. And internal potency is the spiritual world, which is manifested by internal potency. And the topmost of the internal potency is Radhini Shakti. Samvis, Sandhini, and Radhini. And Radhini potency is the present potency of the Lord, which is personified by Radharani. Just like external potency is the mental energy personified by Durga. Everything is finally a personality. Radhanani is the pleasure potency of the Lord. Finally, Krishna is one. Natasya karyam karanam chavidyate nata sama abhidaka shrikishate. There is nobody equal to Krishna, nobody greater than Krishna. Nata sama abhidaka shrikishate. Nobody is equal, nobody is greater. Parashrikate abhidaka shrikishate. A multifarious potency is Krishna in having. Sabhaviki jnana. Naturally, Krishna knows to do anything. He doesn't have to think about how to do it. His potencies are so much. He's like Satya Sankalpa. Krishna wishes, immediately it happens. How many people think that Google has a job? No, no. Think about it. We can Sankalpa, but Sankalpa may not become Satya. Correct? Krishna is Satya Sankalpa. He thinks, it manifests. Let there be creation. <laughs> creation will unfold. So detailed we cannot even imagine. We had a desire to enjoy independent of Krishna. Krishna thinks, okay, done. How much plan Krishna has made, can you imagine? 84 lakh species have been designed. Each species is nothing but a vehicle for the soul. Yantra, Rudhani, Maya. It's a yantra. 
How many Krishna designed? 84 lakhs. And in each species, there are so many variants also. Just like human species will give you 10 bara kuchas. Kirat, Huna, Dabul, Indabul, Kishachal, Kachas, Maximum Solid. On Earth, there are 4 lakh. That means throughout the universe it is spread. So, each species, there are so many variants. Just like you are not exactly like your father. Correct? Just like Maruti Kaik model. How is the model? Swift. 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 How many models Krishna made? 84 lakh. And so wonderful models, they keep making other models. A human species, another man, woman, they will keep making next. Factory will not be able to do it. One time Brahma has made a model, he will reproduce it. Do you know how to do it? Do you know how to do it? X and Y. And they will keep making the rest of the cars. You cannot even conceive. You cannot even conceive. And this is the work done by Brahma actually, but ordered by Krishna and he was given the plan by Krishna. So just imagine amount of detail Krishna went for our rebellious nature in this material world. Now if you say, no Krishna, I like to serve you. The internal energy is much more. Work. You cannot even, in this world, how much detail we see. Just like today we have brought flowers, if you see. Variety of flowers. So much detail is there in this world. Variety of the mother of the Spiritual world it is vast. And not only that, spiritual world, everything is eternal. In the material world, a fool they got push time by push okay. Spiritual world, full push nyota. You offer a rose to the Lord of the of Krishna, that will remain there. It will not become push after two days. Everything is eternal, full of life in the spiritual world. Nothing is dead there. You offer a garland to Krishna, the garland is also alive. And it's feeling so nice touching the body of Krishna. Spiritual world is such a beautiful place. And in the spiritual world, the center is Krishna. Krishna is the center of the jam. And there is a description that the bees go near the lotus feet of Krishna. Because they have the privilege, they fly, they are also alive. And they go near the lotus feet of Krishna. And they see what is happening there. And they come out, telling about, they say, we go there, Bhavara. They start glorifying the past times of Krishna. Even beautiful birds, which can sing very beautiful, correct? And the Kaveni of the Rachi birds are famous. And when they sing so pleasingly, and they also stop because they want to hear about Krishna's stories. There is no envy there. In the material world, you are one center of enjoyment, I am another center of enjoyment. There is only envy. I remember in college, abhi in the fourth year, my placement hota hai. Kisi ko job mil gayi, main to kaan bhand karke baad jata tha, darwaja bhand karke. Nahi sunne ka. Externally, I am his best friend. Internally, I am envious now. Why? I didn't get this job. There was one job slum market. One of my now you will hear will come to my classmates sometime here. The class one of my classmates daughter. I will close my door and put my eye out door because everybody is shouting. I don't want to hear that. Externally, I am his friend, but internally, we are envious of each other. That is the nature of this world. But in the spiritual world, there is no envy. Why? Center of enjoyment is only Krishna. And if somebody goes to Krishna to serve, in fact, if you go to Radharani, she is the top one devotee. And you say to Radharani, can you offer this flower to Krishna? Therefore, Radharani, I have a flower. Why? Because Krishna is the devil. And if she is so great devotee, she feels this person is a real devotee. I am not a devotee. And she recommends to Krishna. Oh, I am a Ithanacha devotee, I can't tell you. Krishna immediately accepts. In fact, Krishna is fully conquered and subdued. Krishna cannot be conquered. Hare Krishna. Krishna cannot be conquered. Why? He is the greatest personality who can conquer Krishna. Okay? Anybody can conquer Krishna. Is it possible? They cannot conquer. Nobody can fight with them. Impossible. 
But the devotees, when they approach Krishna with pure love, Krishna becomes conquered. I'm your, it's like Lord Rama told Hanuma, I'm yours. Correct? Okay? Even Lord Chaitanya, you should tell the disciples. If you want, you can sell me now, I'm your property. So much I'm pleased with your devotion. So we conquer Krishna by pure devotion. Just like suppose somebody comes to you and he says, gives you a glass of water. I say, ah, so yeah, what happened to you today? Give me a glass of water, you drink water. Then he gives you some sweet thing to you. Ah, that's very nice. What do you want to do? I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Then that is business, no? That is not devotion. So many people go to temple, actually get no devotion. First thing, devotion is not possible with anything except Krishna. All the Devi Devata, there is no devotion possible. Just like now, Ganesh Chaturthi, we give a lot of things, we go to college, we go to the NIT, we go to the NIT, we go to the NIT, and we go to the Ganesh Bhakta, we go to the Ganesh Bhakta, we go to the NIT. You cannot become devotee of Ganesh, not possible, sir. I give a challenge. Not possible. You cannot become devotee of Devi. Why? There has to be some want when you approach a Devata. Krishna certifies that in Gita. Kama is at the Hitha Jnana Yajanti Anna Devata. If you worship any Devata, there has to be a Kama, a desire to fulfill. Then how do you say for Krishna? Because Krishna is soul of the soul. Parama Atma. Very satisfied. Krishna. There is spiritual reciprocation, which gives in Radhini Shakti, which gives you just like Chapa Karta, that is spiritual pleasure. Then when you get on another plane, spiritual plane, you get satisfaction. You can do it without material motivation. Because any activity has to have a propelling force. Just like in the worst of the management people do, what do they do? They give incentive to the employees. If you work hard, we'll give you increment. Therefore, they have made dynamic salaries in many companies. They have a fixed salary, then they have a dynamic salary. The dynamic salary, salary depends on your performance, even in force example. Okay? But they they call it variable I think, uh, variable salary. So that is one kind of incentive. Some uh, bosses even give parties where they make them drink nicely to you know, incentive for work hard. Some companies that are better made it on a higher principle than they motivate their employees. But Krishna, devotees serve without any return. Na dhanam na janam na sundari ma kavitama jagadi shikame. Chaturvamru said, I don't want dhana, I don't want followers, I don't want beautiful women to run around me. This is what you want. Either you want money. If not money, you want a lot of followers. If not follow, at least few girls running behind you. How are you? How are you? At least you want one other thing or vice versa. Reversing. For a girl, she want reverse man. So then we feel, uh, I have achieved something. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, I don't want all this thing. So what do you want? Mama Janmani Janmani Shate Bhavadhaad Bhakti Ahito Ki Jai. Birth after birth, my Lord. I just want opportunity to serve you. I don't even want more moksha. I don't want anything. That's called a new beauty. But suppose when somebody comes to you and he's serving you one after the other, day after day, but he doesn't want anything, then what do you do? You offer yourself to the person. I'm your property. Okay? Krishna is also a person. And it is very easy to please Krishna. A few days ago we were discussing. Just like a dog is there. And how do you develop a relation with the dog? You get a small pet in the house. You give him something to eat. Okay? You pat him for some time. Then he becomes your best friend. He becomes very attached to you. So Krishna is even little is that. Uh, Sudama gave to Krishna what is that? Chipped rice. You know? Krishna became fully satisfied. But with hate and love. Patra Pushka Palam Toya. Krishna said, Hey, if you offer me these things, Patra only, Tulsi Beef, you offer to the Buddha's head of Krishna. Pushpa, one flower you offer to Krishna. Krishna will be little water you offer to Krishna. Krishna will be fully satisfied. Yes, if you can, like Bali Maharaj offered everything. Bali Maharaj offered the whole universe to the Lord. Hmm. In fact, when he was, Krishna wanted to show, look at this devotee. Uh, Krishna came, you know the Bali Maharaj was an emperor. Hmm. 
बाल महाराज वाली सो कृष्णा ऑफ हीट मैन and and Krishna came as wow, and he said, I I want want nothing. I just want three steps of land. He says, take. So when the three steps of land were being off, offered to him, well, uh, Vaman, I had two steps to the whole universe, just two steps. As a way to keep the third steps. At that time, Brahma came up right? because Vaman and Dev says he arrested because he has not fulfilled his promise. He is a criminal now. Arrested. So he was arrested. He was tied. So at that time, Brahma came. He said, my Lord, enough, enough, my Lord. Just by offering you one tulsi leaf or water, you can satisfy it. Why you are testing this person like this? You have taken his whole kingdom away. You have taken his everything away. And in front of public, you have tied him to a tree. This is a you know, shameless condition you have created for him. And you are asking now, where do I put the third step? Tell me. Actually, Krishna was showing, look at my devotee. This is my devotee. Because except a great devotee, nobody can do this. Just imagine, we have some position like him, whole life you earn, money, everything, correct? And everything is taken away, people become mad. But he was not mad, he was crying and embarrassed. I could not offer three steps. Where do I third step? Please think, where do I give the third step? Then he offered to the Lord Vaman Deva, my Lord, on my head you can keep third step. Basically, take my life. So this is the devotee. And when somebody does that, what happened to then Bali Maharaj? Vaman Deva smiled and said, actually I just wanted to show how great devotee you are. Go to Sutala. Hmm? I created a special place for you called Sutala. Hmm? And there, I will sit there as your bodyguard. Krishna sits as a doorkeeper. Vaman Deva sits as a doorkeeper in Sutala for Bali Maharaj. Even now. And if you go there, Ramana went there, Ramana was conquering the universe, he went there. What happened? Vaman Deva gave him a kick from there and he fell back to his place. He's still protecting him there. So that is, so you're never a loser. Your problem is to say, hey, you're never a loser when you offer anything to Krishna. You get it back millions of times. Never a worry. Sometimes we say, no, chant Hare Krishna, Arya, Chakki, the Kyoga, don't worry. You'll never be a loser. Whatever you are supposed to get, you will get plus more. Okay? You don't lose. So, this way we should understand. So, Radharani, in this, this is called pure devotion. In line of pure devotion, not chala devotion. There is called chala dharma. You know, kaita dharma, cheating religion. Haan, ye do bhagwaan ko, do coconut do, aapko ye milega. This is called cheating religion. Generally, log ye karte. Aafir nahi mila jate. Are, mein kya kiya? मैं ये किया ये किया ये किया और तुम कुछ नहीं किया पीपल आर लाइक दैट आई वाज एक्सप्लेनिंग जस्ट लाइक पीपल फील लाइक दिस दे डोंट हैव प्योर डिवोशन अ प्योर डिवोशन हैज टू बी ट्रेन्ड बाय अ प्योर डिवोटी यू हैव टू बी अ प्योर डिवोटी टू गेट अ हिंट व्हाट इज प्योर डिवोशन व्हाई अ प्योर डिवोटी इज फीलिंग सो मच प्रेजर इन सर्विस टू कृष्णा ही डस सर्विस टू कृष्णा विद फुल फोर्स विदाउट एनी रिटर्न His intensity of serving Krishna is very great. So intense is his desire to serve Krishna, like a fire, a blazing like fire. The desire to serve Krishna. We have, our we have, our desire to serve Krishna is like candlelight, like agarbatti ke agar thoda thoda light, the matches that light. And Acharya's desire is like a forest fire. Intense desire to serve Krishna. Therefore, when you read some words from Prabhupada books. Our also heart start burning little. Okay? Our is a coilage like there. Coilage like there, if you leave it, what happens? Rag is there. It's a fan. So similarly, we are chanting Hare Krishna, we are doing, we are fanning that. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. A little warm, warm, warm. So if you keep chanting, 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 what will happen? Boom! Fire will come out. Yes. Then you will think, yes, I want to serve Krishna. And this is called pure devotion. There is nothing in return we are expecting. This pure devotion cannot be applied to any Devi Devata. It is not possible. I am telling you very straight. It is not possible. Krishna tells the certificate. Huh? It is not possible. Pure devotion is only for Krishna. Savai Pumsa Para Dharma Yata Bhakti Adhoksha Devi Ahi Tuki Aprati Yata Yayatu Sapasidati. That is the topmost religion which teaches devotion to God. 
अधोक्षर अधोक्षर द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी सुप्रीम लॉर्ड अहितु की दिस डिवोशन शुड बी प्रैक्टिस विदाउट एनी कॉज अप्रतिहता विदाउट एनी ब्रेक नॉट फॉर अ सेकंड वी शुड फॉरगेट ऐसा नहीं है भूल गया नो सर दैट इज नॉट पियर डिवोशन विदाउट एनी ऐसा नहीं है सुबह पांच मिनट भगवान को याद किया फिर भूल गया दैट इज नॉट पियर डिवोशन पियर डिवोशन मींस पर्सन प्रॉपर से डोंटली ट्राई टू रियलाइज इन ट्रूथ यू शुड लिव इन ट्रूथ हाईएस्ट ट्रूथ इज राधा कृष्णा first thing in life should be realize the truth and not only realize the truth we should try to live in the truth for 24 hours ye ni 5 minute agar bhakti kari aur bhul gaye aaj kal to aise ho gaye hain i see some business people they light agar bhakti they do for 5 minute then after that usko bhuja dete hain bhakti ko agle din ke how can you do this you want something is offered to krishna i should not be offered again नहीं आजकल मंदिर में भी आ गया वर्केट अबाउट घर में दुकानों में तो मैंने देखा था मंदिरों में भी शुरू हो गया दुकानों में आई सीन दे डू दैट यू नो दिस मारवाड़ी इज समटाइम इफ दे डोंट फील सम पीपल आर देयर वेरी बिजनेस माइंडेड दे डू लाइक दैट बट नाउ इवन सम टेंपल्स आर शो सम दिया दे लाइट यू नो वी हैव द लैंप दे लाइट एंड ऑफर आरती करते हैं भगवान का तो पीछे पब्लिक बैठा है देख रहा है बड़ा आरती हुआ आरती होने के बाद मुझे आ दिया दिया तो राइट तो तेल चला जाएगा फिर पब्लिक आई फिर उसको जलाया फिर शुरू कर दिया दिस इज अगेंस्ट एनी रूल ऑफ पंचरात्रा व्हिच इज नारदा पंचरात्रा और शिव पंचरात्रा एनी पंचरात्रा दिस कैन नॉट बी डन व्हेन यू ऑफर दिया टू द लॉर्ड आई कैन ऑफर अगेन बट यू सी दैट सम टाइम्स दिस इज ऑफर किया दिया आरती करी पूजा दिया रख दी फिर चलाया पब्लिक आई फिर शुरू यू कैन नॉट डू दैट सो नाउ आई शुड नॉट डू द वर्शिप ऑफ द लॉर्ड हैज टू बी डन वेरी प्रॉपर्ली सो दे शुड बी नो अहितु की अप्रतिहता विदाउट एनी ब्रेक विदाउट एनी कॉज नाउ ऑफरिंग दिस प्योर डिवोशन सर्विस इफ यू वांट टू डू यू नीड अ रोल मॉडल करेक्ट फॉर एनीथिंग यू नीड अ रोल मॉडल इफ यू वांट टू बिकम अ बिग इंजीनियर यू नीड टू बी अ रोल मॉडल व्हिच इंस्पायर्स यू इफ यू वांट टू बी अ मैनेजर यू वांट अ रोल मॉडल व्हिच इंस्पायर्स यू बट इफ यू वांट टू बिकम अ ग्रेटेस्ट डिवोटी द रोल मॉडल इज राधा रानी उनके आगे she is a full stop there is nobody and she is so dear to krishna that is i cannot talk more because this is not the forum actually uh, radha krishna past times i call the most confidential past times vedya vyasa wanted to talk about uh, and shuldev goswami you know parikshit maharaj was about to die within 7 days so he took shelter of finally shelter of krishna the limited shelter of shubhadev goswami great acharya please tell me something is you here bhagavata and shubhadev goswami wanted to talk about radharani ji ka but time was also not there only 7 days remaining he could have directly gone to rasleela of radha and krishna that is the highest thing to hear and shubh parish maharaj could also said sir sir time is not there please forget all this thing come to rasli that right you know he did not hurry neither the student hurry neither the master hurry everything should be properly presented and he explain first how krishna is a creator how krishna comes in so many incarnations in this world what is the position of krishna who are the gopis what is their position then he went to rasli so we should also not hurry first we should read the nine canto of the bhagavatam and understand who is krishna and who are the gopis then in the 10th canto chapters come about rasli of krishna with the gopis then we should enter that as a nice so don't make it cheap it is very advanced if you want to know about some internal past time of some person first you should know the person well. otherwise you will misunderstand sometimes a relation with the radha krishna is misunderstood in this world very unfortunate huh? it should not be done it should be properly understood so uh, in this way we can speak and our goal of life should be to become a servant of uh, uh, radha rani proper say don't try to become even a gopi try to become a servant of gopis radha rani is, is assisted by billions and trillions of gopis in service to krishna and each one of the gopis is assisted by billions and trillions of sakis in the service that is a spiritual goal that is called goloka Radha Krishna Lila is going on surrounded by unlimited gopis who are assisting their master daily. 
somebody is giving them garland somebody is giving them somebody is giving something to eat and this past time is going on and those are fortunate they first say jai radha madhava kunj bihari gobi janavala proper said that our goal of life should become join the dance of radha krishna and this krishna is standing like this he is dancing actually radha radha is also dancing proper said whole universe is existing spiritual and material because of that dance and unlimited living entity is participating in the dance of radha krishna but they are, we have come to this world we are creating our own dance अरे चलो हमारा भी बॉल डांस हो रहा है राधा कृष्ण है हमारा भी कृष्णा एंड अनलिमिटेड गोपी चलो अपनी दस पंद्रह तो होकर एंड आई वांट टू डांस एंड इफ ही माय लाइफ इज सक्सेसफुल इफ आई कैन डू दैट करेक्ट नाउ देयर अ प्रोफाइल ऑफ फोटो चार पांच लड़कियां शाम तक फोटो ऑफ आर गुड टू से यार स्टडी आर योर लाइफ इज सक्सेसफुल दैट 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 मोस्ट अनफॉर्चूनेट माय ओन ओन क्लासमेट सम एक्ट्रेस केम टू द ऑफिस इज स्टडीइंग नाउ आई डोंट वांट टू वर्क एनी मोर माय लाइफ इज सक्सेसफुल I was just thinking, what did he learn in his whole life? क्या समझ आया इसमें? Just to mention. So people think like that. They're so unfortunate. But our fortune of life will come if we can participate in this Radha Krishna. Become participant. Join in this past time Radha Krishna. And this past time center is this uh, the Lila of Radha Krishna. Somehow, uh, if we can get appointment there, but then we work we work very hard. You get appointment in some job. What is the job? Finally, you have to serve some useless master. If you become bureaucrat, also you have to serve some useless politician. Such low class, such low class politicians are like jamadars. They become like many of the politicians. If you see them, they have a sweeper will be better in his behavior. Forget about what they do. At least you know there is some civility and there is something. But Radha Krishna Lila is so advanced, my dear. Is so advanced. If I can get appointment, huh? if I can, hey, father, give him something. To eat. If I, if we can get some appointment, huh? uh, to join on those fast times, they are like very success. Like a partner, like that, sakhi. Even sakhi, a assistant or sakhi, will be there. And it is so beautiful that more you are servant to the servant to the servant to the spiritual world. More pleasure is there. More the pleasure, and that is the beauty. It is said the gopis enjoy billion times more than even Radha Krishna passed away. But they are enjoying. That is Krishna's beneficence. And the sakis are assisting gopis in service to Radha Krishna. They enjoy even billion times more. The pleasure is unlimited, and the center of pleasure is Radha Krishna dance in the spiritual world. And next, 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 assisting that, assisting that, assisting that. There are past times are going on. Mental World is a rehabilitation program, reformation program for the people who are not fit to participate in those past times. Krishna knows the real pressure is this. Yeah, yeah. So some people are there who want to create their own dance in this world. They don't want to join in. Radha Krishna dance. Apna dance banana. अरे राधा कृष्ण डांस कर रहे हैं सेम स्टेप में डांस करो ना नहीं नहीं मैं सेम स्टेप में नहीं कोने में जाके अपना डांस थोड़े लोग आओ मेरे डांस से पार्टिसिपेट करो एंड सम पीपल आर इवन मोर फुलिश अद्वैत वादी से दे डांस द नो पागल आदमी अकेला डांस करता है सम पीपल डांस इन राधा कृष्ण लीला दे आल्सो ट्राई टू पार्टिसिपेट इन दैट डांस चलो उस डांस में हम थोड़ा पीछे खोल बजा दें करताल बजा दें Let Radha Krishna dance very nicely. That is very nice. That is most auspicious. But some people they want to create their own dance. Chalo, our boys go to the kiyam. I can dance. That is the most people in this world. Bhogis. But even you thought this is the worst. But this guy will be chey pagal. He will be bada pagal. Kya? A kela dance karta hai. A kela dance hota hai. Kya? That is called Advait Manas. So, oh, 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 mante hi. They say, brother, this world is all made here. Alone they want to dance. And they don't agree to there is the dance or spiritual world actually joining there, or ये लोग अपना dance बना रहे हैं चलो उधर join करो नहीं अकेले dance करते हैं अकेले खाली पागल dance करते हैं so we should come out of these two things निर्विशेषा शून्यवादी some people want to dance alone some people want to dance with their own girlfriends forget all this thing and become purified become a great devotee 
free from all this thing and go and join in the Krishna's dance, then only your life will be successful. Shri Radharani ki, uh, Shri Prabhupada ki, 